Hey yo, what's up guys? Fresh Park here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to extrude a logo with Cinema 4D. Yeah, with Cinema 4D. First here, let me close out of all this real quick here. Um, oh wait, no. Alright. So, I don't know, you guys want to do a phase logo? I mean, everybody likes phase, right? No, no you guys anymore. I don't know guys. <clears throat> Alright. So mine's black, so I'm gonna make it white real quick. Alright. And okay. Alright, then what you're gonna do after you have your logo and everything new and then bring up anything you want, just any size, it really really doesn't matter at all. Then you're gonna drag that, drag that logo into there. Oh shit, I just made it white. All right, one sec, guys. All right, so now, what the fuck? All right, drag that down to how you kind of want it. Right in the middle. <clears throat> and then you're gonna take the, uh, magic wand tool and you're gonna you delete this background too you're gonna wand it right in the middle of the left just wand it right in the middle boom <laughs> and then you're gonna you're gonna go to paths you're going to make work path put a tolerance down to 0 0.5 since it's gonna be the I guess you could say it, it, it's gonna be the smoothest then it's not gonna have rough edges. All right, so there we go. It might have rough edges right here if you're using the phase logo. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna save path, name it whatever you want. So name it phase. Screw it. And then go to file, export. Paths to Illustrator. Then it's gonna come up with that same name. So there you go. Okay. And then it's gonna be an AI file, which that's what you want. So I'm just gonna save. All right, that's all saved. Now we go into Cinema 4D, and we're gonna merge. We're gonna we don't want to press new or open because I have my Lightroom open. So we're going to press merge. And it's going to bring up your files. And hopefully you say this somewhere you know what it is. Here it is, my phase file here. I'll open that up. Keep everything together. Everything just how it is. And it's going to be, it might be small. So you want to size that up a bit. See that's in the middle. In the middle, all right. So, pretty much what you want to do from this, is you want to go up to. So you see this little box up here. Hold Alt. Click this little box. Hold. Hold your click, and go to extrude nerves, and boom. Put that spline right under extrude nerves, and boom. It's already extruded. You see that? It's already 3D. So. Now you want to turn on you're gonna turn that depth up. The best depth for this is probably like 120. If you're going for like letters, I guess. To 140. For logos, I think 140 is the best. You can really see the depth from really any angle, I guess. So I just I just like the I like the 140. And then with this with this extrude nerves, you can, it's just like the letters. You have caps, you can put on, you can make a fillet cap. You can make it, um, oh crap, sorry. You can make it everything. Then extrude it more, more movement, like I can make that go up like that. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to do that. I mean, you can make it go up. You can make it go to this side like it's got a nice side view or something 
I don't know why you'd want that either. But, um, yeah. I guess that's how you make, how you extrude a logo in Cinema 4D. So, yeah. Um, I kind of want to talk to you guys about my channel real quick, too. Uh, it's going to be mostly speed arts when I can, if I have any edits to do. And then, what the hell? Oh, if I have any edits to do, and then all the rest of the videos are probably going to be tutorials on Cinema 4D and Photoshop. It'd be great if you could like and subscribe, but, you know, I'm not going to make you. You can't really do that. Um, but, it's mostly just going to be editing. Like, like, I don't know, I can't, just speed arts and stuff, you know? And, um, you might see some clan RCs from here on out and stuff, but, and I might, I might try to make, like, gaming videos, but I doubt that's going to happen. Sorry, guys, but I, it might. So subscribe, it might. <laughs> but, yeah. And here, here's what I'm talking about, those rough edges. You're, you're going to get those still. Because you can't tolerate it down anymore. So, like in Photoshop, you can just blur those edges out or something. Yeah. And this is rendered out with my Lightroom. And if you haven't seen how to make your own Lightroom, go to go to my channel and watch my last video. Alright, guys. So, now that you know how to extrude a logo in Cinema 4D, go make some sick covers and go make that moolah. If you do edit for moolah. I don't. It sucks. Trust me. <laughs> so, uh... See you guys. Keep it real. Peace out.